Hope y'all having a good one. Uh, so today I'm gonna do a tire test situation with the Gapra. Um, since I've only got so many sets of wheels and tires uh, and I'm starting to build more projects, um, I kind of need to figure out where exactly I need to put each set of wheels and tires. Uh, so that's what we're doing since the Gapper is pretty much my top performing rock crawler. Um, I need to find the best set of wheels and tires to put on it. And then I'll know what I can put on other rigs later down the road. Uh, there is one other potential set, but I think I'll leave that for another day. Uh, there is a set of two twos that I've kind of considered after running them on here once, but right now I'm just focusing on the one nines. So the everyday normal tires I run on here are a set of J Concepts ruptures on some, I don't know if they're actually in Jora brand or similar brand, uh, like deep offset, deep dish, whatever you want to call them, wagon wheel kind of things. They've got, um, let's see. All right, so they've got a dual stage foam custom dual stage foam set up in there um i think it's either got the pro line closed cell or the uh 1010 from amazon closed cell and then um i cut up uh the softest set of two two foams that i had to fit the rest of the open space in there and those do really well on here. That's why they pretty much just live on this thing. And there's a good chance that they're probably still gonna stay on here. But I just wanna be sure uh, before I commit to anything else on the other rigs. Um, next on the list, in no particular order, which I've got two sets of crawlers. We'll get into that in a second. Um, the, both of them are worn in pretty well. Got some good feathering going on. They're both uh, the Proline Crawlers and Predator Compound. Uh, this set here's on a set of, what is it, TCRC, I think is the name. Uh, they are an adjustable offset wheel. And things are a pain to tear apart and put back together so probably not going to be any adjusting going on uh, unless i have to but those are also on a custom dual stage situation and uh, similar but smaller than the ruptures those also do very well don't know that I've put them head to head before, so that's kind of where we're at today. This is the set of wheels and tires that I run on the Bronco. Oh no, 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 I take that back. This is the set that uh, I run on the General. Uh, General Lee, General Ecto, however you know it, if you know it. Um, set of Enjora turbines. And I just put crawlers on it because they're awesome all around tire. Uh, these have Enjora silicone inserts. I believe I've got the blue ones in these, which leaves a little bit of uh, air pocket in between the silicone and the tire. Some situations is good, some not so much. Um, but that's kind of why I've got them in this whole situation. Both sets, not so much uh, for the wheels, because that's up for debate and change. I'm more so looking at the tire and insert situation. The other set I've got, just kind of as a wild card, uh, Enjora comp pins. Uh, these are not the new ones that just come out. These are the ones that have been out for a little while 
and these also have a set of blue silicone inserts and they are on some uh, trio wheels that don't have much of an offset at all so they're good for keeping your rig narrow uh, tires and offset of the wheel so those things are really skinny but yeah I'm gonna mess around up here in the gravel pit I'll choose a couple lines and I'll run each set of tires up the line and uh, see which one does best Hopefully, if everything goes according to plan, I should be able to do like a split screen kind of a setup and we'll be able to see these things in action side by side. Um, yeah, fingers crossed that'll work out. If not, we'll go through them one at a time and uh, kind of decide what shoes the gapper gets from here on out. Uh, get a battery in this thing and throw it at the rocks and see what sticks all right so a little voiceover because i couldn't get enough uh subtitles in here with the split screen situation i'm doing all of this on my phone uh, probably be a little easier on a computer but i don't have one so in this clip the layout is the ruptures with the dual stage, top left, crawlers with the dual stage, top right. The crawlers with the silicone inserts are on the bottom left, and the pin tires with the silicone inserts are on the bottom right. I was having a hell of a time with all four sets of tires on this section. Uh, there's that one log that is where everybody's stuck there. Uh, kept grabbing a hold of the rear axle. So I kept having to shimmy around to try to get around it. Um, I don't know if some rocks have shifted or what, but I wasn't able to take my normal line with any of the tires. So that one went a little bit longer and there was a lot more battling than what there normally is on this particular section. So from here on out, uh, I've kind of got a little bit more of an organization with the clips going here. Um, ruptures, top left, pins, top right, bottom left is the crawlers with silicone, and bottom right is the crawlers with the foams. Um, first time doing a four-way split screen here, and this editing app is kind of weird the way you got to lay out each of your clips and where the longest one has to be and it's a whole mess um i'll get better at this so bear with me but one thing i do want to stress a little bit here is i'm not really after who gets done with each section the quickest um I 
the tires that are better i actually tend to try to drive a little bit slower because i really like that slow crawl situation um but sometimes you know you don't have that kind of bite so it doesn't work out like that and wheel speed's kind of your only option so the top of hard line here um, still same setup ruptures top left pin tires top right the crawlers with silicone inserts bottom left crawlers with the dual stage foams bottom right um, this one actually did kind of surprise me a little bit the pin tires barely slipped at all um, ruptures did what they normally do and I think this was one of the real wake-up calls on the uh, crawlers with the foams in them uh, at least on this particular rig they were not biting anywhere near what they should have been so at this point is where I kind of decided uh, I'm gonna start slowly eliminating tires and make editing life a little bit easier you know, just because I know those tires wasn't going to make it uh, in, on anything harder because the obstacles only get harder from here on out so as you can see crawlers with the uh, dual stage foams still fighting to get over that first little hump there and everything else is already done so they're going back uh, on whatever rig they end up on next and we'll move on to the ne next obstacle you've been around here you'll know this little climb right here is a, a tricky one very finicky doesn't matter what tire you got or how good it is this one is usually quite the battle um, so tires are still in their same spots ruptures top left pins top right and the crawlers with the silicone inserts are on the bottom left one thing here is uh, that your back driver side tire, your front driver side tire, and your front passenger side tire are all trying to crest a knoll or you know a little ridge all at the same time, and these pieces of concrete up on end are not very wide so you don't have a whole lot of back and forth movement I see the pin tires actually got the grab first but the spacing is a little bit wider than those narrow offset and very narrow tires and if you've got some wide tires you can sometimes maneuver your way back on top of it but most of the time this is what happens you end up getting wedged really hard and uh, you'll break an axle real quick but they actually 
this this first part here is essentially the whole climb um, at least the challenge of it if you can make it up this first section where the other two are still fighting for um, I pretty much call that a success that is the hardest part to pull up and uh, yeah this is usually where the ruptures shine in comparison to other tires because uh, they're a little bit taller so you can get that wheelbase stretched out just that little bit more and if you get the right turn especially with the four wheel steer you can kind of grow your wheelbase a little bit and uh, get that front passenger side tire to grab and once that one grabs usually you're in the clear but either way this this one is very tricky and sometimes you do got to use a little bit of wheel speed and that's what ended up happening with the ruptures here um, could not get at the bite trying to slow crawl it today it's a 50 50 shot on whether it's going to be able to actually crawl it or if you're going to have to do a little bit of a bump situation doesn't take a whole lot just a little bit more wheel speed to give you a little bit of momentum to get up and get that bite on that front passenger side and since these are a wider offset wheel and a wider tire um, maneuvering your way across that ridge line there with the ruptures pretty easy like I said that's where these tires usually shine the most over other tires and unfortunately the crawlers just zero bite whatsoever on this particular obstacle um, so that one now eliminated and we're going to move on to something even more difficult So this one here is a little bit different. Uh, this obstacle, there is a quote easier and harder line to take. So since I'm down to the ruptures and the pins now, I went ahead and did the easy and the hard side with both tires. So your ruptures are on top, the pin tires are on bottom. The easier line is on the left hand side of the screen and the harder side is on the right hand side and this one is yet another one where it's a it's a toss up on what it's going to be like any given day of any given week uh, between the weather uh, the cows smaller critters that like to dig holes um, my obstacles change often and not because of me so it's uh it's hard to tell how anything's going to go on any given day but as you can see here the easier line obviously went quicker um as far as that side goes it felt pretty even between the two however on the harder side it comes through on video a little bit here but especially when you're driving you get more of a feel for things 
the ruptures killed the hard side and I actually was having a little bit of trouble maintaining the line that I wanted to maintain with the pin tires which kind of surprised me a little bit um, there wasn't a whole lot of dirt or debris over on that harder side like there sometimes is so I thought that the pin tires were actually going to do better over there uh, but they actually had a little bit of a time so we're kind of in this weird situation here where these two tires are damn near neck and neck and it's all about preference from there basically Okay, well, it went pretty much how I kind of figured it was going to, but you don't really know until you know. There is one thing that's kind of still up in the air. Um, so just because I haven't done that yet, and I don't know how it's going to turn out, uh, we'll walk through the first three quarters of this situation here. Um, right off the bat, I eliminated the custom dual stage with the crawlers. Awesome setup, but not the best for this rig anyhow. Um, these crawlers with the silicone inserts actually held on a good bit longer than I thought they would up against the other two. Um, it wasn't until that over there uh, they just did not have near enough bite for that situation so that pretty much put them out of the running which doesn't hurt my feelings a whole lot because those two sets of wheels and tires work really well on a couple of my other rigs uh, the daily drivers for the Gapra I know what they can do. I run every single one of these obstacles on that truck every time I'm up here with it. So they've been on here for a reason. The pin tires, they are right up there with these. Um, in some scenarios, they actually bite a little bit better. It's not really surprising, they're pin tires other situations not so much um even though the ruptures are not the most sexy looking tire out there they still look a hell of a lot better on any i don't care what rig you put them on they still look way better than pen tires do so even though this is all about performance and i want to see what bites the best we can all agree on one thing and that's that looks no matter how much you don't want to admit it looks play a big part so that's kind of where i am right now these two i feel are pretty much dead tie on performance so i'm going to go ahead and pack everything up and on my way out of here there is one climb one line whatever you want to call it it's a tree climb um i have not had anything be able to make this yet so i figure the best tiebreaker is if these pin tires can climb that tree up into the notch on the gapra then i may go ahead and uh, find a different set of wheels 
and I may run those pin tires for a while on this thing. But if it doesn't make it, then I'm going back to the ruptures because even though this thing is not a trail rig, I don't really run it anywhere other than actual rock crawling areas. You gotta be able to drive back to the rock crawling areas. And I know for a fact that on any kind of a even halfway wet day outside, those pin tires cake up with mud and they are absolute garbage. The ruptures don't cake up near as bad. And even when they do get muddy and dirty, they still grab really well. So there's a couple caveats here, even though I'm considering this kind of a tie with these two at the moment. Um, we're going to see if those pins can make this tree climb. And if so, we'll weigh some pros and cons. And, uh, the next time you see the Gapra, it will either be on ruptures or on these pin tires with a different set of wheels. But that's pretty much my conclusion up to this point. We will, uh, get packed up, head on out and uh, see what the uh, tiebreaker of a tree has got in store. Well, we'll see what the pin tires got. The whole goal of this is to be able to get up into the notch of that tree right there. I have yet to do it with anything. Trying to stay back from that tree as much as possible. There's a pretty healthy and definitely still active critter hole in there. I've seen some groundhogs up in the critter hole in the pit. And uh, I know I've seen skunks running around out here. So just in case they're calling this place home today, I don't really want to get any closer than I have to. Easy parts done. So, I have previously, I don't know if, if you have seen this before, then you know. Previously, I have gotten front tires up to the beginning of the notch. But, that is uh, quite vertical and off camber all at the same time video never does any justice but if we make it to the point where front tires are up in that notch i'll stop and do a little bit of a slow pan around it so you can see just how crazy the off camber and vertical is if we make it that far i don't know the pins could be just absolute garbage on the bark of the tree I'm not sure oh yeah it's wanting to lift that front passenger side tire already normally I get a little further before it starts wanting to lift so seems pretty stable there Let's show a quick pan around here that's not as vertical as it gets Gotta love the leveling feature on the phone here. Try to keep this as level as possible.
It's not looking like it's gonna get it. I know from experience, if you've got to stop and readjust, you're pretty well screwed already like that. Sweat bees are real. Well, I think, uh, I think I got my answer for the tiebreaker because the ruptures definitely do better on this climb, without a doubt. And there it is. Well, we may try this again. Um, kind of have already done it once but kind of want to try it again we'll put the uh two two ruptures that i did the cut and shut job on maybe we'll take those the one nines and these pin tires and uh we'll go somewhere else and do a little head to head with them and that is as concrete of evidence as there is um, those are definitely the three best sets of tires that I got as far as what works on this rig. But as far as today goes, one nine ruptures, I think safe to say they're uh, definitely on top of the list. So, hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, have a good one. Cows are starting to move in on me. And there's a storm coming here shortly, so I think I'm gonna call it a day. So I'll uh, catch y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later. <laughs>